Good afternoon. I, um, well, it's been a heck of a weekend. I hope everybody had a decent Easter holiday. Um, I, uh, I, I can't say I enjoyed mine, uh, anymore. I had a old high school friend, uh, come by, I think that was Saturday night. And no, it was Friday because he was here when I was, uh, he was here when I was doing the show. Um, so it was Friday night that he had came by and we had a, uh, really, really good time. Um, he had dropped off, uh, well, he came to hang out and he had dropped off, uh, an old desktop computer that he kind of threw together. He owns a local computer company. And, uh, so he dropped off, uh, uh an older, uh, la or desktop and, um, and so I spent a good part of the weekend getting it uh, all set up for Jen. So if you see me kind of fumble around and be a little slower than usual, switching screens or um, making little mistakes, it's because I had to uh, give up one of the monitors I normally use <laughs> for her desktop uh, because there's no way I could sit there and watch her suffer any longer uh, with that laptop. That thing was um, that thing was just horrible. So. Uh, the laptop's still going to go to use, uh, but it's going to be primarily, I'll, I'll probably run the uh, vinyl cutter on it, and that will essentially be it. I, I don't know of anything else uh, to really do with it, so uh, I'll probably use it for a, a work machine, so to speak. Um, and it won't even have, uh, it doesn't have the laptop keyboard that it came with. I took that out a long time ago because it was just uh, junk. Jen was uh, using a USB keyboard, and um, and so I'll just use uh, Team Viewer, Team View into it, do whatever I need to do. Uh, so essentially, it'll be a work uh, a work computer, and it might wind up even being a um, uh, like a data computer. Uh, in other words, uh, it can plug in external head drives or hard drives to it. Head drives. I don't know where that came from. Uh, hard drives I can put in it or plug into it and uh, be able to access access those so who knows anyway so had a really good time had a few beers friday night i don't drink very often and uh so i, I did uh i had more than a few so <laughs> i was feeling pretty good actually uh sunday easter yesterday we uh had a typical ham and uh you know all the fixings and had a good time had, had a really good time enjoyed ourselves kind of nice and quiet now uh, now we'll be excited to uh, get back to the normal the normal of uh, of our lives which is a really really calm for the most part pace um, Jen's at the store right now as I speak so um, right now you just got me so it might be hard for me to even kind of keep up with uh, with chat and stuff being down one more monitor um, so it kind of is what it is bear with me please so um, very interesting stuff very very interesting stuff I, I just um, wow I I can't believe what I have seen today uh, on YouTube so uh, we will be getting, uh, there's actually, I noticed there's two videos because High Impact Flicks apparently did one as well on the subject. The first one I seen today happened to be from Full Spectrum Survival on the subject. I'll be playing those videos right after the monologue is over. Uh, but I wanted to, uh, I wanted to speak on that a little bit here at the monologue and I want to speak about what's going on, uh, financially right now. Uh, if you haven't been paying attention to headlines, um, our stocks are falling once again. Now, this is in light of new tariffs that China is going to be attaching. So uh, this trade war, and there's been a trade war for a long time, but not to the level that it is now. And so I would tell people, be a little bit extra uh, vigilant when it comes to uh, keeping an eye and an ear open at all times um, because the economy is it's a farce okay the, the the whole monetary system is a farce and you know the economy though they can shut that off like a light switch and so I, I would highly recommend folks to um, pay very close attention make sure you got what you need uh, I can't stress that anymore um, I really can't 
I uh, like like I said, it's it's long time ago. I I, I started and it's kind of a joke, but I meant it. Um, my my Ron White, uh, not mine, but Ron White's uh, alert status, and uh, you know I had been saying for a long time it's time to buy a damn helmet, and uh, I also said that. I'm the type of person that when it's actually time to put it on, uh, I probably won't be able to reach out to you and let you know. Um, but I, I will say, put on the damn helmet. Um, and I don't think that it's just a itchy trigger finger, so to speak. Uh, I really do think we are right on the verge of something giving way. Now, what that is, I really don't know. Uh, there are so many different things in so many different areas. Uh, your guess is l literally as good as mine because that's all it would be as a guess at this point. Um, we've got some some insane tensions in so many places. Uh, the South China Sea, um, just just to name one. It doesn't get talked about a whole lot. So, but that is a very very serious um, tension that is 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 rising right now. China is doubling, tripling, and and quadrupling down on the South China Sea. North Korea, wow! I don't even know where to begin with that. I I, do, I I'm having a hard time uh, even putting that puzzle piece together because it almost seems as if North Korea and South Korea are once again kind of working together. And so that raises a lot of questions for me and a lot of suspicions for me. And, uh, you know, I kind of wonder if maybe uh, South Korea is starting to see uh, the whole point behind why North Korea is the way that it is uh, and why they have the attitude that they have. Um, because, you know, every country that the United States has, has meddled its way into, um, they pretty much ruined Okay, including their own. So we we have to have that understanding when we when we look at these these foreign affairs, uh, because you know that that means everything. That that's how other countries are going to look at us, and uh, likewise be how they deal with us. And South Korea, well, you know they are what they are, but um, you know with with North Korea being on their side, so to speak. That just helps them out a little bit more. And then them being kind of in the vicinity or over in the direction of like China and all of that. Uh, well, now they are a little even more protected, especially like I say, if, if, if North Korea, South Korea, you know, China, Russia, you know, all, all those countries over there, um, if, if they all group together and band together, wow, that's a, that's a force to be reckoned with. So um, and, and it's it's a large area of the planet. So that that's definitely something else to take in consideration. So I would say because of the financial climate and all of the things happening as far as tensions escalating, as far as military troops, as far as military drills and all that, really pay close attention to what's going on now. Here is what is is scary, and I, I'm not going to take super long on the uh, on the monologue today. And I, I know I say that uh, a few times that I did it the same amount of time anyway. Um, I'm trying not to though because I don't know uh, I don't know how quick Jen will be on her way back. It should actually be any time now. Um, so let me real quick let me run through Twitter. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on Twitter, and let me run through that real quick, get that out of the way, and I'll talk about uh, what's going on with the news. This is this is insane. Okay, let me get scrolled down here real quick. I'll just run through the headlines. Uh, this was last night, and I thought it was uh, rather interesting here. Oh, hang on here. A Russian consulate general in Seattle closed, State Department notified. Assyrians leaving East Gouda via humanitarian corridors. And I swear that's not the first time I've heard that headline. Uh, London murder rate overtakes New York for first time ever. Now that, that is unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Uh, Trump suggests meeting with Putin in Washington, D.C., 
Uh, let's see. Israel Nguyen reached a deal on deportation of African, mi African migrants to Europe. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Winnie... I, I don't even want to try that, but Mandela, South or Mandela, South African anti-apartheid campaigner, died. Uh, let's see, and U.S. stocks sink amid China's first round of retaliatory tariffs. So, uh, real quick, like I said, I wanted to get through those. Now, let me talk about this stuff with the media. And uh, again, there's there's two videos I know that I'm going to be playing after the monologue, and. Um, I, I just, man, um, High Impact Flicks did one, Full Spectrum Survival did one, and I'm sure others have done them too. Uh, some time ago, meaning maybe even two years or three years ago, somebody had put together a video. And I can't remember what the actual subject of the video was. But uh, it, it was crazy because it was all kinds of different news outlets from all over the country. And they were literally reading the exact same script. And it was like one of those feel-good story kind of things, if I recall right. And, I mean, it was word for word the exact same script. And it, and it was eerie. It was scary, actually, to listen to it, to realize just how controlled and just how scripted that our news media is. Well, they put to, somebody put together a, a video... Uh, of recent times and it's a warning it is a warning about other news agencies and how you know the whole fake news thing okay but here's the thing it was again word for word to the level of being absolutely scary eerie word for word and it was across Oh, I mean, they're sitting there talking about the different partisan news and yada, yada, yada. And and all of them were doing it. The, the right-wing channels, the left-wing channels, they were all doing it. There was none, none of them that wasn't doing it. And it was absolutely insane. And, and it like I said, it, it was scary to listen to. And they did an awesome job on the video, the one that Full Spectrum Survival put up. Um, they did an awesome job. I don't know if he's the one that edited it together or, or what, but layering all the different uh, channels at the same time, the voices. And I mean, it is it is just unbelievable how many different ones, word for word, said the very same thing. Now, this, this is horrifying to me. This is our worst nightmare absolute worst nightmare because folks i they are going to eliminate anybody out there that's trying to tell the truth anybody out there that's trying to bring you any real information they're doing everything they can to eliminate us and believe me they will believe me they will shut us off quicker than you can imagine and it's happening. It's already happening. Um, sorry, type into Jen real quick. Um, it's it's already happening, and it's insane. It is absolutely insane. I don't know, you know, I, I don't know what to tell folks other than get ready for the big push because that's what's coming. The big push is coming. It's literally right around the corner because once they do that once they purge anybody out there that's trying to get the truth out um it it, it just uh it's done it's done all information from that point forward will not be reliable whatsoever and there's nothing, folks. There's nothing that can help it, okay? I'm not going to stand here and say, oh, well, send in send in a bunch of donations. Send in, you know, if if we had a $1,000, you know, or I could do an Alex Jones, if, if we had $500,000, no, folks, no. There's no way that I'm going to be able to get out to you, no matter how much money I have. 
There's no way. And no way anybody else is going to either. Because see, that that is the horror of the whole I can crap. That's what it is, is crap. Because that's going to give them the ability to shut every one of us down at the drop of a hat. No matter what we do, no matter where we do it at. So it's a sobering thought. It's not a good thought. I can't help that. I can't help that. But I'm telling you folks, it's time to put on the damn helmet. I can't mean that anymore. Let me wrap this monologue up. Um, Jen is back. Let me wrap this monologue up. I'll get you guys a video playing. And then uh, and then we'll go from there, okay? Because um, I need to help her get in, help uh, get the rest of the stuff in. So... Let me get this wrapped up, and I will talk to you right after this video. I'm going to play Prepper Nurse 1 first, and then, uh, and then I'll, I'll go on to the videos that I was speaking of. So anyway, as I always say at the end of the shows, we love you all. God bless you all. Be one with your spirit, and put on your damn helmet.